In this video, I'll show you what a damped sine wave is, I'll show you the formula, and what the damping factor does to the graph. A damped sine wave is a smooth periodic oscillation. It has an amplitude that approaches zero as time goes to infinity. In other words, the wave gets flatter as the x values get larger. Damp sine waves are often used to model engineering situations, where a harmonic oscillator loses energy with each oscillation. For example, you might have a bouncing tennis ball, or a swinging clock pendulum. The term damped sine wave refers to both damped sine and damped cosine waves. It can also be a function that includes a combination of sine and cosine waves. In this image, the cosine curve has the same shape as the sine curve. It's just shifted half a period. Where the sine wave crosses the y-axis at y equals 0, the cosine wave crosses it at y equals 1. A sine wave can be damped in any of an infinite number of ways, but the most common form is exponential damping. If your sine curve is exponentially damped, drawing a line from peak to peak will result in an exponential decay curve. This is the general equation for an exponentially damped sinusoid. A is the initial amplitude, that's the highest peak. Lambda is the decay constant. Phi is the phase angle at t equals zero. And omega is the angular frequency. Notice that the amplitude or the height goes to zero as x goes to infinity. Let's take a closer look at the decay constant or damping factor. In this example, red is the exponential envelope of the damped function. It's what contains the function. In black, inside the envelope is the damped oscillation. Lambda is the damping factor. When we increase lambda, the curve flattens. We can also change the phase. That shifts the oscillations along the x-axis. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.